Nice one to Jamie, 70 centimetre red. Okay, how to fill it, Red Emperor, part two. The best part about this is, is that uh, I actually caught this one. You caught it, yep. So first we go under the wing, and we get the knife in there nice and close to the head. We go right down through until we feel the backbone. Then we run the knife along the edge of the backbone. Just making a mark through. I'm oh, doing a lot better job than Lee. <laughs> Once you get down to the tail, you poke through. You can feel it along the backbone. Have a good sharp knife. I know. Just for filleting fish. So we've done that on that side, so you can see what I've done there. I've just marked that down on the backbone there now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to follow down through. Right up close to the backbone is where you want to get. You want to get all that flesh off, especially on these nice big red emperor. 50 bucks a kilo. True, $49.99 in uh, most uh, fishmongers for one of these fellas. One of the best eating fish on the reef. And we always love catching them on reef Ari. A yeah, nice bonus today. We've caught a good haul of Nanny Guy, Red Emperor, Coral Trout, Spanish Mackerel. Good stuff. So, just have a quick show you there. What I've done is I've worked along the backbone. We'll yeah. Get down onto the bone there. And we're yeah. just going to keep going right through now. Looks good. we we'll just keep going right through nice and close to the backbone. The rib bones can be a little bit hard on these big fellas, so you've usually got to come over them. Cutting up over the top of the bone, rib cage, yep. And then we get back down to the bottom there. And what I do is, once you go right through, you turn him around, come back under the wing, and you come right down into the gut cavity, and you get all that flesh in through there. And Beautiful. There One nice big uh, red emperor fillet with very little left on the bone. Unlike a Lee break video that was on YouTube <laughs> some time back. <laughs> but the wings here, don't forget the wings, they're also great eating on a fish like this. Yes, yeah, so and what we'll do is when we fill it the other side, we will then also take the wings out, because there is a lot of flesh in there, and that's what it is, pure flesh in there. So, so now we're doing the oh, other side. Oh, I'm right-handed, so I've got to turn him around this way. We just come in under the scales there, right up close to the head. And we mark him all the way down, around the wing, down to the gut cavity like that. Turn him back around. And the same thing again, we just go right down to the backbone and we mark along. You don't have to go in too deep here, it's just marking it right along the rib sack. Get down to the tail, poke through, peel down against the backbone and come out. Yep. And then we just peel him back the same way, nice and close to the bone. over those ribs because they are a bit hard. Just get on the backbone there. Yeah, it's cutting up over the rib cage, okay, yep. Ribs are the tricky part. Once you yeah. get down through there, you want to get all that flesh down in through the end of the gut cavity then. And we're going to take the wings off this fish so you can leave a little bit on there. So we get right down under there. And then I'll just turn him around. There. All right. And then you have two nice big fillets of, like Greg said, one of the best eating fish you can get out of here off Mackay. You'll have one fillet and I'll have the other. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks mate. Here we go, also worth just skinning down at the end. Yeah, so I've just done this one. I'll give you a Cut look. out the ribs? Yeah, you know, I always cut the ribs out. I've got a couple of young kids, they like their fish, they hate their bones. And I don't yeah. want to make your bones. So I just give a little bit of a trim off like that. Fill it like that, you can cut down into other pieces, which I usually do. It's way too big just for one meal, for one person. Because <laughs> we always catch big fish on reef, Ari. Right, right, skinning, very easy. Fish like this, just, just grab it with your fingers on the very tip. You just start under the flesh there a little bit until you fill it down on the skin, like that. And then it's just a matter of Starting like that, and you do the seesawing motion. Grab the skin. That's why we uh, leave the skin. Sorry, leave the scales on your leave fillets. Leave the scales on. Yeah, it makes so it easier to skin your fish. We just do the seesawing motion here through there like that, all the way to the end. We we'll take that off. And you'll see no skin. No skin on there. Very little flesh left on the skin. Okay, well done. 
Okay, I just got the rib bones up here. So you can yeah, see so Jamie's cutting out now. Pin bones here. I always just trim them out. It's yeah. a little bit of a waste, but uh, it's better than sitting there trying to pick them out with a pair of pliers like you see chefs do. It's easy for us just to trim out like so. They only go down a little way. And what you you, really what you got there now is a completely boneless, skinless fillet. And like we said, at $49.99 a kilo. Probably hundred bucks worth of fish. There's a few dollars worth of fish there that we can enjoy tonight for tea. Alright.